I am utilizing the Bid Integrations plugin to establish a connection between these two platforms. Let's go to Bid Integration Dashboard. Now click Create Integration. Now search and select Trigger, which is Jet Form Builder. Copy the webhook URL and fetch the data. Now go to Jet Form Builder Dashboard. Hover on your form and click on Edit. Now click on Setting. Then click on Post Submit Action under JetForm. Select Call Webhook. Click Edit Action icon. And paste here the webhook URL. Click Update. Now update the form. Now go to your form and fill in the form to fetch data. Submitted. After submitting the form go to the Bid Integrations dashboard. And here you can see data has been fetched successfully. Now click on Set Action. Search and select WhatsApp. You can change the integration name. Give here your phone number ID, business account number ID and access token. Go to Meta from the developer site. Create app. Other. Next. Select an app type. Business. Next. Give here an app name. Create app. Password. Choose product WhatsApp. Set up. Continue. Getting started. Here are my WhatsApp phone number ID and business account ID. Copy these and paste them here. Here temporary access token, it will expire in 24 hours. For permanent access, the token goes to Meta for the developer dashboard. Click over the test business. System user. Add. Give here a meaningful username. Set user rule. Create system user. OK. Add assets. Apps. Choose an asset name. Give full control. Save changes. Done. Generate new token. Choose an app. Choose permission expiration time. I choose permanent. Give permission to WhatsApp business messages and management by checking the box. Generate token. Copy the token and paste it here. Now go to the Meta Developer App ID dashboard. Add a phone number. Give here a meaningful name. Choose a category automotive. Next. Give here your WhatsApp phone number. Next, give here verification code. Next, refresh this page. Now go to the integrations dashboard and authorize it.
Next, choose message type. Map the respective fields. Give the template name go to the developer app dashboard. Click on here. Click over the template and copy the template name paste it here. Next, finish and save it. Now go to your form and type some information. and submit the form. The form is successfully submitted. Go to your WhatsApp and check your message. Here you can see after filling up the form the message came successfully to my WhatsApp account. Now go to my templates dashboard here you can see this template message will be sent every time when you fill up the forms. Also, you can edit this template or create a new template. Thanks for watching.